5 for best sets up final day scramble. An improved day 2 performance from the visitors helped them skittle their hosts for around 200 and then added 163 for the loss of 5 wickets to give themselves a lead of 92, but they needed more to be competitive. Gary Balance had been doing his utmost to give Yorkshire that platform they so desired, and it wouldn't be long before that hard work took him to 50, scored off 120 balls. Sussex hauled them back though, Patterson a little unfortunate, but Garton would take it, another wicket for the young bowler. 200 was on the board soon after thanks to Balance, Yorkshire doing their best to set a decent target for their hosts. The former England man was looking in control, that is, until he decided to play no shot to Carson. The umpire raised the finger, he had to go, LBW for 75. Bess and Thompson helped Yorkshire to 250, but Sussex weren't to be kept out. The visitors were soon seven down. Thompson caught off the bowling of Robinson. Another for Robinson and his next over had Bess trapped on the crease and out LBW for 19. The slog was on with the final pair at the crease, and they were having some fun. David Willey was giving it the long handle, while last man Dwayne Olafia was riding his luck a little, although he did unleash this textbook cover drive as Yorkshire went past 300. They reached the lunch break with the score 301 for 9, Sussex only one wicket away from their chase, but the lead was now a tricky 230. But with the partnership worth 50 runs, Jack Carson brought their aggressive innings to an end. A second first-class five-wicket haul sealed for the young bowler when he trapped Olifia in front. Yorkshire all out for 305, the target for Sussex 234. The final two bats had done well to dig Yorkshire out of a bit of a hole after their middle order succumbed. Jack Carson though made sure they didn't set too big a target, his figures of 5 for 85, a new personal best. Sussex got themselves off to a decent start, they took the target below 200 after 10 overs, runs flowing with ease from the bat of Tom Haynes, one of the form players of the LV County Championships so far this season. The pair had made it to 45 when Bess found some turn and bowled Thomason out for 10. Haynes and Van Zyl stuck together and made their way to T, heading into the interval at 59 for 1 with 176 required to win. Yorkshire fought back at the resumption, Haynes innings brought to an end for 37, Thompson with the big wicket. And the chase looked in further trouble when Dom Bess entered the attack for what was to be a game-changing spell. First he removed Tom Clark to make the score 81 for 3, next to depart was Stian Van Zyl, Bess luring him into a false sense of security. With the very next ball, Bess had his fourth. Delray Rawlins sent on his way with one that turned and bounced big. Yorkshire smelt blood here. Sussex searching for stability, but with Root joining the attack from the other end and the pitch very receptive to spin, the target looked a long way off. Sussex captain Ben Brown had an early let off, a sharp chance put down, but four precious runs for the home side. The tension mounted. Just before the close, the target went down to double figures, but with the last action of the day, Bess claimed his fifth. Garton gone, Sussex six down, and suddenly victory looked a long way away again. That sets up a fascinating final day here in Hove, Bess looking to add to his 5 for 33, and Ben Brown searching for a partner that could stick around with him with just four wickets remaining.